traders from around the globe. What's going on? It's Ricky Cadden from Real Life Trading Australia. I trust you guys are doing absolutely amazing this week. Uh, we have had such a very bullish week. A lot of real life traders making numerous, numerous R's in the morning day trading room and the afternoon swing trading floor. If you guys aren't there, you are missing out. Be there or be square. Check out reallifetrading.com. Get involved. It's an amazing community and we will help you achieve all your financial dreams and teach you to, teach you to trade for free. But enough about that. Let's take a look at the markets. SPY. What did we do today? So we actually had a retest gap. And what's interesting about the SPY is we did create a new all-time high. If you take a look at the five minute, um, we did actually create, we hit that new all-time high quite a number of times, um, but it was a very nice resistance level. A lot of people looking to sell. Um, obviously, it was a bull trap. A lot of people getting trapped thinking this was the time to go long. Um, but if you are a real-life trader, you would know this is definitely going to just be a retest and a lot of people are looking to sell here. Um, what's interesting is the E-minis, the S&P, actually didn't create a new all-time high. We are still sitting at, as we speak, 3,019 um, and the all-time highs are still 30,29.50. So I do think we are going to go higher eventually. Um, we did get some beautiful volume. Yes, uh, we did get some beautiful volume today and I do expect us to continue bullish. Um, right now with the SPY and this beautiful doji looking candle, probably just look to buy a retest as this was a retest gap. So any, any trade on the SPY, just look to buy on a short little dip. Let's take a look at the Dow Jones, the DIA, Dow Jones ETF, still not creating a new all-time high like the rest of, um, like the rest of the, like, well, like it, like at the S and P. Um, however, we do have a beautiful doji and was a very nice retest gap. If you take a look at the five minute, we really just came down, retested the previous highs from yesterday at the close and we did bounce retest again. So there was a lot of opportunities to take the uh, DIA long today. And I hope you guys made some very bullish gains on that one. We've got a couple of requests from my last video, ticker symbol ISRG, intuitive sur uh, surgical. And on the daily, what's interesting about the daily is we are creating some really, really nice lower high, uh, higher lows. Um, but to me personally, this, this bullish move right here uh, off the 100 on the weekly chart, Okay, this is right here. To me, that should have actually closed a little bit more bullish. That's the reason why we did close a little bit lower here. And we did create a very nice double bottom. Now, what's interesting is we do have a nice doji candle, right? And we have closed above the 200 on the daily chart. So that is one good key. However, we have moved in the last three days about 8% in the last three days. So if you are trying to get into this trade, don't chase the trade. Um, if you are looking to get in, I would be looking to uh, buy on a pullback as we did get a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a weaker volume up, up at this level. So there are some selling coming in. So probably if you can get in around 513, that would be a very nice dip buying opportunity. On the long term scale, on the long-term scale, if we break, if we come back down and we break this lower trend line and close below the 100 simple moving average on the weekly, expect us to come back down to 440. Okay, that will be the next the next support level based off this support here and this resistance here. So keep an eye on the 100 on the weekly. If you are just monitoring this particular trade, ISRG does look good to go long as we are creating a very nice double bottom off the 100 on the weekly chart. So it does look good to go long, but just look to buy on a dip. Ticket symbol RUT, I'm pretty sure it's the Russell. Yep, so pretty much just like the IWM. 
Uh, this is just on the TVC uh, exchange. So one thing you want to take, uh, take into consideration is this current trend that we are in. So right now we are at the top of this channel. Okay. If you are looking to get in long, you really want to get into this either at the lows of the, of the channel, or if we get a breakout of this channel, you want to look to buy the retest. Okay. So just keep an eye on the Russell and the overall markets. If we do get a pullback in the overall markets on the SPY, um, just expect the Russell to come back down and then the 200 uh, would be a nice dip buying opportunity as it is the mid range between these, this channel. So that's the, uh, uh, that's ticker symbol RUT and let's take a look at Boeing ticker symbol BA. Now, BA, uh, Boeing is quite interesting at the moment as well. Uh, we have had this resistance here at 373 for quite some time, as you can see. Uh, oops, close that. Um, as you can see right here, we have had a very nice resistance level for a long time. Okay, so this could potentially just be a small fake out. If you are looking to buy, uh, you definitely do want to look to buy the dip on this one. Um, but same, same with ISRG. This has also had a very nice, you know, 8% run up in the last four days. So we are currently pulling back as we speak. Will we bounce off this resistance level and start to form some support? Who knows? I do, I do expect Boeing to eventually go higher. Um, this realistically was your time to probably start forming some sort of position if you didn't get in down here because we are getting some consolidation at this price and we are at the 100 and the 200 simple moving average. So if you're not in now and we come back down to the 100 and the 200 and get a support at 357.62, that will be a brilliant time to take Boeing long. Here's Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN, and we're realistically just staying in between the 100 and the 200 simple moving average, waiting to see what's going on with these trade wars. We are very, very sideways, very, very choppy, and I do expect us to be sideways for a little bit longer. Um, if you can take a look back here uh, at, at the start of the year, we did chop sideways for about three months. Okay. So if I was to just copy this and bring it, oops, that's not the right one. Sorry. If I just copy this and bring it across to here, it's very, very similar. Um, it, it is forming a very nice level of support. We are at a support level where well, we were at a support level two weeks ago and we are just chopping around. So Amazon just look to buy as low as possible. Um, obviously if we do sell off, in the markets, Amazon is going to feel a little bit of heat. And we do have a little bit of resistance up here at the 100 simple moving average. If I look at the long term moving averages on the weekly chart, you know, if we did come back down to the 100, that would be a very, very nice buying location. Um, but as we speak, I think we've got a little bit more sideways action, probably about a month or so, and then definitely look to take Amazon bullish. Let's take a look at ZS. Um, okay, on the daily chart. Now, what's interesting, I think this might have been an earnings gap uh, right here. I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't say it on my chart, but what is interesting about this is we had some beautiful volume on this day right here. Okay, on this day right here, you can see we did get some nice bullish volume and we did gap down. So this is a gap and go, okay? And a lot of people did get trapped. Okay, and we are, uh, and we are currently retesting. So if I if I uh, from here, because we did get a lot of buying volume coming in here, that also makes a lot of sense as this is a nice old previous level of uh, old previous resistance, old resistance becoming new support. I do expect this to, however, go a little bit lower. Um, I don't expect this thing to just you know come down and just launch out of here. Um, ZS, if you, if you are looking at buying, I do expect, I do expect uh, it to come down a little bit lower after the gap and go that we had two days ago or three days ago, sorry. So uh, if you are looking to buy, a very nice buying location would be around 35, 35, 75. Um, and 
yeah, that's pretty much where I would be looking to buy if I am looking to get in long term. Let's take a look at ticker symbol CRWD CrowdStrike. Now it's also a new IPO. Have a look at the daily chart and this one's quite similar. We did have a beautiful hammer with volume gapping down and a lot of people just getting absolutely hosed here. So a lot of people getting trapped here. We did, that's the reason for this massive sell off here. We tried to obviously bounce off this previous resistance intraday and right now we did not hold up. So for the most part guys, if you are looking to buy, um, I would be looking to buy off this candle right here as there is some beautiful volume at $66. Uh, and this does look like a rest after battle pattern, guys. So I do, I do expect us to come down, come up, retest, come down, probably create another lower low. And then uh, either 60, 65 or 61 would be a very nice buying location on crowd strike let's take a look at ayx now ayx is in a beautiful trend we have had a very very bullish move and what an evening star of the ages we have had on the weekly chart um guys this is very very extended um i know a lot of people probably trying to pick the bottom on this one to go long again uh, as you can see we have already moved up since December we have already gone up well about 200 over 200% and right now we are pulling back and we have currently pulled back from the highs about 20% so from here I do not I, I can I can understand if you are looking to buy off the 100 we have bounced off this level before okay I can understand if you are wanting to buy here however I don't think that we will just launch out of here. I do expect us probably to chop around, maybe come throw in a couple of lower lows, trade sideways for a little bit more, and then you'll get a little bit more of a buying, a buying signal. As we also, if you take a look at the volume that we have had, uh, we still have massive volume. So until this really starts to dissipate and the sellers start to leave the building, um, I would probably be staying away from this one. If you are in shares already, I'd, I hope you have had, I hope you've got put options or at least um, probably look to have them to protect your asset. All right, that's, that's all for the reviews on, or, or for the requests, sorry. Let's take a look at the Aussie markets. Not a whole lot to look at here. The All Lords just doing what the overall markets are doing, still finding a little bit of resistance just at this particular support level, uh, this support resistance level here. Um, so I do expect if the markets do continue higher, then obviously the All Lords will slowly grind higher. Here's Woolworths. I did say a few days ago back here that we are probably most likely coming back down to the 100. So if you are, if you did take that analysis to go bearish, then well done. You guys are probably definitely in the green. Hold on strong, guys. We are still looking a little bit weak. Um, if you are looking to take any profits off the table, then keep an eye on this particular candle right here. We did get some bullish volume here, so I do expect there to be some support there and uh, we probably will get a slowing of trend on the downside. Let's take a look at App and Limited APX. Now, what's really interesting about this is we have closed below the 200. Okay, now, if we do continue with a very strong week and we can close below this low right here, um, then I will expect us to go down to the 100 on the weekly chart. Um, it is, it is a very interesting support level. So if we do, if we do not bounce at this level, um, just look to buy the dip and wait a little bit more, be a little bit patient as we do have some very nice bearish volume right now. So Appen going a little bit lower and that's all we have to say about that. Let's take a look at BHP. Now I did say that BHP is probably going to chop around sideways here 
Um, we do have fairly weak volume and right now we are at the 200 simple on the daily chart and on the weekly chart. Yeah, we are looking to bounce, but like I said, most likely we will chop around something like this or probably something like this um, around this level. So if you are looking to start forming a position on BHP, uh, now is probably the time to keep your eyes on it as we probably will most likely chop sideways here for a little while. Let's take a look at LTM ALU we, on the weekly chart, getting a very nice evening star reversal. On the daily chart, I did say that we're gonna get another chance to buy off the 100. So if you are looking at LTM for a long-term trade, looking to get in on a dip. Uh, we are currently dipping. Uh, we will get some support here at the 100. If we close below there, guys, right here is going to be a very nice buying location on ALU. So keep your eyes peeled in the next week or so um, for a dip buying opportunity on Altium. Let's take a look at the bank CBA. And I have said, just stay bullish, stay long on CBA. Not a lot to see here, guys. It's still bullish and we are most likely going to break above these highs eventually and start to create some new higher highs um, after the last couple of years. So that would be nice. That'll be really good to see on CBA. Let's take a look at some commodities. So US oil or crude oil. I did say in my last review back here, get ready for the bearish move. We were going to drop. Okay, now if you did take that analysis, if you're a Forex trader or a commodities trader or futures trader, or maybe you're just a stock trader and you look, to you look to take your profits on your oil position, whatever it was, I hope that you guys are happy as this is a very nice dip buying opportunity and we did expect it. It did hit every single one of my targets and right now we are slowly consolidating sideways. So from here, um, I do expect us probably, I would like us to come a little bit lower, maybe back down to 53. However, I think most likely we're just probably going to chop around sideways and it's going to be fairly neutral at this current moment. Let's take a look at gold. Now gold is pretty much, I did say gold is probably going to go down to six, the 618. Um, I do still expect that to happen. However, it may take a little bit of time. Uh, if you take a look at the dollar index, Dollar index is looking a little bit weaker here. If we do start to trade lower on the DXY, then obviously gold is going to go higher, okay? So if we do bounce here, makes sense. If we roll over here, also makes a lot of sense um, because the dollar index still is fairly sideways, fairly neutral, and um, not a whole lot looking at right there. Here's the Aussie dollar and this is very, very interesting. So I have said stay bullish if you are in some Forex positions. I did say if you are in long, look to hold up until the 100. Um, if you were looking just to take your profits off the table off this particular candle yesterday, then well done to you guys. Um, I am. We did get some really nice volume yesterday. So... I do expect us probably to chop around here for a little bit longer. Um, if I can get above the 100, that would be super, super, super nice. Um, but as you can see, a lot of selling pressure here. Uh, a lot of people looking to take this thing lower, just like all of us. Anyway, guys, I hope you had an amazing week. I'll be back next week on Tuesday. And as always, if you want me to review any stocks, tickers, or pairs, commodities, you name it, leave it in the comment section below and I'll put it in my next review on Tuesday. Have an amazing weekend. I'll see you all soon. And remember, love life, live life and trade it. Bye.